Okay, 5.54 p.m. <clears throat> okay, this one we have to see what's going on here. Okay. We are Okay, we are focused. We just have to wait. <clears throat> Attack of the brain continues and we are focused. Attack of the brain continues. Organized crime family is responding. Attack of the brain continues. It's um, 5.59 p.m. 5.59 p.m. This is the reason for the daily plan attacks. Attack of the brain. And we have visual contact. The lights are on in the hallway. There we go. Showtime. Let's see where he went. That's moving quickly.
Let's see. That's a customer that he's going to be serving. Oh, look at that. That's the red van. Hiding. The red van is hiding. Look at that. That's the reason for constantly shocking my brain while washing dishes. Look at that. That's no surprise. That's no surprise. Look how far back he's parked, making sure uh, he will not be in camera's view. Uh, this uh, criminal organization is attacking me, constantly shocking my brain while um, washing my dishes and while enjoying my uh, evening dinner and watching TV. And the hopes are to attack me enough so I go to sleep early. Um, this is 6.01 p.m. 6.01 p.m. I usually go to sleep anyway, so I don't know what the... But of course... Um, they're trying to avoid the camera's exposure as much as possible. I still think um, there's somebody helping me on that side. Because they're, they're giving me hints. They're giving me clues on what to look for and I'm, everything's working out perfect everything's working out perfect we we continue gathering uh, surveillance of criminal activity involving after-school children manipulation and of course right here the mule stepped out uh, wearing a fake job front shirt and he is serving uh, the white part of bag substance known as cocaine. Uh, the customer, of course, is the guy with the green shirt that has a permit to work at 5130. Uh, obviously, they're not working. Uh, they are indulging in the white part of bag substance known as cocaine. Away from camera view. This address is known for the after school and before children manipulation. So it, the drug activity continues. And we're just going to let them do their thing. I'm not going to be standing here all night. <laughs> I'm not going to be out here all night. I got things to do. Well, they live right there. Uh, that's the drop-off location of the Candyman. You you saw it in the earlier video. Drop-off location underneath the front porch. And that's where they're at right now. Right there. Yeah, away from camera view. People hide for a reason, folks. Open for business. Expansion in the works. And we got the dollar store owner, uh, Bright Light Harassment, of course. Look at that. That's Bright Light Harassment all the way. All right. Moving on. That's to discourage me from recording. Yeah, he stayed inside the van. There's, they have no reason to leave the van. Uh, they're indulging in the white powder bag substance known as cocaine. So they're gonna be, there's a white powder bag uh, party. Even looking out through here, look at that. They made sure. Even if I look out through here, look at that. That's how far away they parked. See? I still cannot see them. So, they're making sure. They're making sure. And, let's see over here. Oh, look. To no surprise, the bright light harassment. See that? They're trying to be a little more discreet now. See? They're trying to play nice, but shocking my brain is not nice. Well, we just have to wait till uh, the mule returns back to reload. We already know where they're at. We already know where they're at. It's um, 
6.05 p.m. 6.05 p.m. How about that? Okay, so we just have to wait right here. This is the white quarterback party every single day. They're being protected by uh, police officers involved in criminal activity. And that's why I'm a target, folks. This is the reason for the creating family conflict, confrontation, anger, emotional distress. My ex-wife reacted. And she uh, broke my phone. Stop recording, uploading videos of 5130 and 5132. Especially before and after children manipulation involved. That's why I put a warning. Uh, we are focused, 5130. And we are waiting for the mule to return to reload. Um, again, uh, he's inside the red van. Uh, the guy with the red van, he's the one that placed the permit sign. And uh, he was granted the permit to work there. And uh, I uh, predicted this, that uh, the construction workers were going to be organized crime family's main clientele. And I was right. See, I predicted it. And uh, because of my continued surveillance, they had to move the little girl, uh, I estimate, at 10 years old. Uh, these government agencies, uh, Drug Enforcement Administration, Chicago and Dearborn, Illinois, Child Protective Services, the news media, Department of Sexual Harassment, um, State Representative Lisa Hernandez, Congressman Chuy Garcia, they all failed. That's our tax dollars gone down the toilet. That's right, folks. I called them over and over again. No hope whatsoever. I recorded. Uh, the horrific conditions this little girl was living in. Sealed, boarded up, after a fire, no oxygen. When she came out, you should have saw her, how happy she was. But uh, inside, she was suffering. And um, Tana Cicero Police Department re uh, responded. Joint collaboration with Anthony J. Loder uh, and uh, Public Enemy No. 1 and Nello Greco, uncle, Main proprietor of 5132, next door. Um, daily plan attacks, joint collaboration with homeowner Martinez, wife, daughter, son, daughter-in-law, signed contract. Uh, paid incentives, family vacation, home improvement, use of cars, and they buy their cars. Daily plan attacks. Uh, again, these police officers that are involved in criminal activity made a fake home visit to avoid external government agencies from investigating. And uh, I was even confronted by a guy that uh, works with them, a white truck. He was instructed to confront me. Um, instructions given, confrontation. Uh, and um, of course... Sergeant Porter, badge number 2255, right forearm tattoo, waiting, standing by, set up traps, false police re reports, court dates, arrests, and order of protection, as well as pre-enrollment mental health hospital begins to avoid any suspicion, open investigation uh, regarding um, drug dealing. So they made uh, a fake home visit and also to avoid... Uh, my murder plot. I'm constantly being shocked in the brain. The shocking of the brain is equivalent to an x-ray machine or microwave oven uh, overtime exposure radiation. Uh, High-tech surveillance monitor, very aware of my location and activities. Uh, this high-tech surveillance monitor is called Army Apparatus Tracking Signal Scanner device. It uh, can uh, emulate voices, sounds in any room, can increase and intensify light harassment, 
Set on the victim's eye scope, visual effects on and off switch will cause accidents and death. Insurance scam, uh, fraud. Unsolved murder cases of identity theft Medicaid. Um, it's a, basically a game of manipulation. That's right, folks. Uh, victims are being followed home from work, studied, manipulated, and sooner or later, daily plan attacks are deployed. Social acting, community gang stalking, bright light harassment, and so on. And constantly shocking the victim's brain. Um, it's very important to involve the family members and friends um, as far as uh, creating family conflict, confrontation, emotional disturbance, breakdown. Um, once the victims react or patient, uh, daily plan attacks. Uh, for example, uh, extreme high level frequencies, turn off all electrical appliances. Um, Running water, high frequencies. Internet connection disabled. Uh, my YouTube channel being attacked on a daily basis on video. Uh, very aware of my location and activities on video. On command signal instructions given. Surprise advantage once I approach or um, walk away from my window. Bright light harassment is used. Um... The consequences are very severe when the daily plan attacks continue within the hospital setting under doctor's care. The medication dosage increase intensify very effective under the influence, when, especially when the medication dosage is increased on a daily basis. Uh, daily electronic harassment provoke movement, reaction, response. Again, Daily electronic harassment, constantly shocking the victim's brain from any electrical source outage. Provoke movement, reaction, response. Yelling, running out of control, kicking, screaming, public outbursts. That's right, folks. I was subjected to this. Um, oh, there goes the van. Moving quickly. On command signal. See that? We got the license plates. They ain't going to get too far. There you go. That's how quickly they move. Instructions given on command signal. And that's uh, what they were, the opportunity they were looking for. And it's called peekaboo. That game is called peekaboo. Now you see me, now you don't. It's meant to be used to create disbelief among family members or doctors. Um, just imagine if I were to go back downstairs and... Uh, Say, tell my ex-wife or my son, hey, there's a, they're doing drug dealing inside that van. Well, when they come out, the van is gone. That's called disbelief, mistrust. It's very important to create disbelief, mistrust among family members, uh, friends, and especially doctors. Uh, the doctor, every time um, you react to daily plan attacks, social acting, community gang stalking, bright light harassment, right outside... The hospital window. Well, the doctor's just going to increase your medication. And if you decide not to take the medication, well, the consequences are very severe. Your medication will be given to you by force. That's right, folks. By force. Uh, this is what the uh, organized crime family's intent is to create emotional disturbance, uh, breakdown, uh, non-social, um, Symptoms, paranoia, hallucinations, psychosis, lose weight. Um, the victim will become silent. Uh, it's very important for the family members, friends, news media to withdraw. So the victim is left by themselves, defenseless. And once they're by themselves, well... Obviously, the doctors are going to write the victims off and they are sent to a nursing home facility, Final Faith. That's right, Final Faith. That's it, kaput. Um, the victim will be subjected to extreme, harsh, um, constantly shocking the brain, electrical, magnetic fields. And... Um, 
under the influence. And remember now, the medications are very, very strong for uh, in a mental health facility. And, and it's used to maintain the victim uh, to, so they won't hurt themselves. And obviously, when they react to the uh, daily plan attacks, this is what happens. Silent, incoherent victims, nursing home final faith, identity theft Medicaid takes place. Manipulate businesses, remain in control, silent victims. Organized crime family, process. It's a process. And it's again, it's uh, called the game of manipulation. Very effective under doctor's care, under the influence of medication. This is the reason why I'm attacked. And um, I was just attacked while cleaning the dishes, uh, while watching TV, while enjoying my evening dinner. The attacking of the brain is very essential and very effective. But um, I usually go to sleep at this time, and, uh, but uh, I was alerted. I was alerted. Uh, I'm not sure. I guess somebody's trying to help me on that side. I was alerted. And I, to my surprise, uh, I saw the candy man outside uh, dropping off the white powder bags underneath the porch. Uh, he had the loud music on. He saw social acting. And again, when I looked outside, the, the mule was serving uh, the guy in the red truck. Oh, there we go. On command signal. Instructions given. See? And bright light harassment by the dollar store. See that? That's bright light harassment by the dollar store. And the main property site owner, very important person, um, we got him on video as well, of this property site, the dollar store. Okay, I guess we're moving on. Uh, there is a person moving back and forth as far as uh, uh, 5130. They seem to go in and they come out. In and come out. They're, they're playing the peekaboo game as well. Uh, I believe it's the female that's dressed up as a man. And she has her face, her head covered up in a hoodie. Uh, this criminal organization is expanding by the second. Um, organized crime family employees labeled the mules. And this is, this is what they do. They have a front, fake job front. As far as construction, uh, which they are uh, working in that, this property. But their main job, of course, is daily drug dealing, traffic transactions, distribution and packing, special delivery, white powder bags, the candy man. And the candy man, of course, is uh, parked right there. We got him on the earlier uh, video. Loud music right there. So we got him on video. He wasn't hiding this time. Okay, we're moving on. It's uh, November 13th, 2024, Wednesday. And it's uh, 6, 18 p.m. We are focused. And the attacks on the brain continue. This is a murder plot. Remember that. Really, it's supposed to be to manipulate the victims to react. But overtime exposure, again, is equivalent to exposure from an uh, x-ray machine or microwave oven radiation. Uh, health uh, issues, uh, cancer of the bone, tumor cancer, brain damage, silent incoherent victims, nursing home final faith, identity theft, Medicaid takes place. It's an insurance scam. Identity theft Medicaid, unsolved murder cases of identity theft Medicaid. And if you notice, all lights are off at 5130. All lights are off. Uh, this is to give the impression that they go to sleep early and, and wake up early to go uh, to, to work. And uh, obviously, that's social acting. We know better than that. All right, we're going to move on.